In Oregon this week, a jury found a man guilty of murdering an elderly couple. The crime occurred in 1980, but it was just last year that DNA evidence led police to the killer. We often hear about DNA exonerating people, but increasingly police are using it to identify criminals. Here's ABC's Jan Crawford Greenberg. The DNA from our victim's body matches Lucas Wade. DNA, a key clue in TV dramas, is cracking old cases in the real world. In Seattle, a 13-year-old girl is murdered. The case goes cold for 20 years with no leads until officers trick the suspect into mailing them a letter. They want his saliva loaded with DNA on the envelope. Has the jury reached a verdict? They yes, solved the case with John Athens' own genetic imprint, matching his DNA on the envelope to evidence found in 1982 at the crime scene. People leave parts of themselves all over all the time. DNA is like fingerprints, only better. In Buffalo, a triple homicide solved after police trailed a suspect to a restaurant. When Altamio Sanchez finished dinner, they scooped up his dirty dishes. We got the DNA from him off of a coffee cup. Police can get DNA from just about anything. You drink from a cup, throw it away. So is that evidence? Of course. Your DNA will be all over this cup. Anytime you uh, drink out of something, you'll leave biological fluid. They can uh, get a full DNA profile from this cup. Detective Delano is using new technology to solve old crimes, following suspects just to get their DNA. Police trailed a murder suspect for weeks, waiting for him to leave his DNA behind. He spit on the parking lot beside his home. Police moved in and got their evidence. They matched DNA in the saliva with a hair found at a crime scene back in 1974 when Barbara Lloyd was brutally raped and killed. They charged Leon Chat, the spitter, with murder. These tactics worry privacy experts. I don't believe the police should be able to collect somebody's private, very intimate information, their DNA, just because they have a hunch that it will be useful. But a trace of DNA left on a coffee cup sent Altamio Sanchez to prison for the rest of his life for murders and rapes he committed nearly 20 years ago. Jan Crawford Greenberg, ABC News, Buffalo.